Last Sunday, the Baltimore Colts took the field, a team in search of a solidifying experience. Unfortunately for them, they ran into a red-hot-handed Oakland quarterback named Ken Stabler, who has been newly instituted as a starter in place of Darrell LaMonica. Stabler led Oakland to a 13-0 lead on two field goals and a rainbow to Mike Ciani. The Colts stayed within striking range as number 14, Marty Domres, bombed wide receiver Glenn Doughty with a 40-yarder. And although Doughty didn't have the ball when he got up, he'd had it long enough for the six. But then Domrays made a fatal mistake by scrambling into the teeth of the Oakland defense. He ended up scrambled himself and out of the game for a spell. Meanwhile, Stabler continued to work like radar as he hit on 25 of 29 passes for 304 yards to break Sammy Baugh's all-time completion percentage record. At one point, he connected on 14 in a row, just one shy of the NFL record. His protection was perfect as he hit number 88, Bob Moore, to increase the Silver and Blacks lead. It seemed someone was always open as time after time the snake hissed his passes into the seams of the Colts zone defense. Raider radar was supplemented by the ground forces as number 28 Clarence Davis put Oakland ahead 27 to 7. But the Colts came roaring back on the strength of some big plays. This one by Don McCauley. A one-yard score by Lydell Mitchell was followed by a successful onside kick, and the Colts were threatening. Marty Domrez to X-Raider Raymond Chester brought Baltimore to within six at 27-21, and an upset seemed imminent. But the Oakland Raiders have got their offense together now, and Clarence Davis put the game away on this 32-yard jaunt to make Ken Stabler's fine performance a victorious one, 34-21.